So our second location today is Keppel Croft Gardens. And there's this beautiful entranceway to the garden here. So let's go in and have a look. Beautiful back here. There's an old apple tree down here. Better go have a look at that. Just loaded with apples too. I've had so many apples today. I think I had like maybe eight apples off right off the tree. But I'll try one more. Um, here's one. Try this one. That's an old apple. Wow, it's hollow right down. So this is a private house up here and they just open their garden up for tourists and visitors to come and walk around and enjoy all the the plants. Some pot sculptures, pond. discovered it maybe about 10 years ago mm -hmm. in the valley. Uh -huh. It's like a giant redwood. Wow. Cool cone, pretty cool. That's the first one I've ever seen. It's just your rope work crew There's here that's going to dig all these big holes out of the field to play game. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the game. <laughs> you didn't call the call. <laughs> Are you part of this group too? I am, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize, huh? Well, uh, we, we start out at intersections. Hello. Hello. You which? We start out at intersections. Oh, I see, and, okay. And uh, so I serve lunch and, and we do the potting there too. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah. Well, nice just enjoy you yourselves. Have a look around. Nice right. of you to open this up for us. Beautiful garden. Yeah, thanks for sharing, too. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> a bit tiring at times. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see the parts that have gone back and uh, this little garden here we've just renovated as an evergreen rockery and and whatnot but there are some that I think I was just talking to a chap this morning and I said I think it, they're just going to be let go. Mm -hmm. The woodland garden, uh, the swamp garden my wife and I always called it. I don't I got down there in the spring, had great ideas, but I don't know whether my energy will last that yeah, long. Yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so they took cuttings and sent cuttings to all all the botanical gardens around the world, shared them. So they're all over the place now. So if the mother load gets destroyed by fire, still surviving somewhere yeah. in the world. And they'll yeah. take up to about seven degrees of frost. Okay. But of course, here they wouldn't take the winter. No. no. But I think in Vancouver. Right. Yeah. Right. Amazing. It's a good book. I know I didn't read the book. Yeah, that's a great book. The woman who sold it to me gave me a good sales pitch, you know. Did they you? had three of them. <laughs> yes. So I I paid sixty bucks. It was just a little thing like this and yeah. 
it has cones on it and you can grow them from cuttings I guess and it's quite happy this summer look at the cones that looks come good yeah. yeah it's doing well there yeah. amazing tree I thought maybe when I'm finished with it the uh, Royal Botanical Gardens might take it they have a big Austral Asian uh, greenhouse I think right. they might take it Wow, this place is huge. There's a sun garden down there. So he's done a lot of planting on this side. There are some obviously wild trees in, in the field in here, but I would recommend sort of staying out. You will loop around into this field if you head straight. Uh, then there are paths that will lead you back and you'll end up in his gardens over here. Um, on this side, when I scouted it out, there were pears, hawthorn, English hawthorns and wild hawthorns. Uh, I didn't see too many apples, but it, um, and it, it's these two fields that are were his sheep pastures. And then there's one front field around here that you can go into. His fence line is over here. That's the limits of his property. And you can see there's a little hut that he mm -hmm. has up mm -hmm. for stargazing up on the hill. Oh, yeah. uh, you'll get into more deciduous native trees like iron wood and hornbeam and whatnot up there. And the hill was grazed at one, one point, but I think he's blocked it off. Uh, there's no way that I saw of getting over this fence through a gate other than to hop it. So just be careful doing that. Uh, and fill in any holes, because he does have animals that go out here and graze. Behind me is the second collection site of the day. Uh, sheep used to graze in here, and uh, so there's a lot of trees that have been nibbled down by sheep. It should be a good site. Hello. Hey. Hi. How are you? Hi. Hello. Ma. Yeah. You say you suggest up here? Uh, it depends. Well, you would go above whatever branch you want to, you want to take over as the apex mm -hmm. and leave a stub. Yeah. It will Hawthorn? Be... No, it's a pear. Yeah, it's a pear. pear. I'm not going to. It's a nice one, isn't it? It's not bad. Yeah, it's nice. I think I'm going to go back to that side there. The grasses are, a little are lower. lower. It's too hard. I want to check out this yeah. observatory up there. Okay. It's hard to walk up there, though, so be careful. Okay. I will. So I'm going to walk across this field over to that pine grove that's on the hill. And they said there's an observatory. You can just see the roof of it there. So I'm going to go check that out. 
it's not easy walking going through here, but it's so tall with grass. But I'm getting there. Hopefully there's no marshy sections. I think this used to be a, a plowed field at one time and it's just overgrown now. So it's quite rough to walk on. But we're making it one step at a time. Hi, did you just come out of your chrysalid? You're probably gonna fly to Mexico now. Amazing. Here's an example of some of the trees you can get out in this open field. They're quite amazing. This is a large one, but yeah, really nice. I've made it to the edge of the forest now. So I'm looking for any kind of a trail that will lead me in. I'm not really seeing a lot. Hopefully it'll open up when I get inside here. We will see. And I'll need to keep an eye out in case there's any poison ivy. You just never know in the bush. Yeah, I gotta keep my eyes open. Okay, it's starting to open up in here. I think these are birches and I think they're yellow birch or gray birch, I'm not sure. They're not silver birch. Yeah, quite, quite tall, beautiful trees. Oh, this is looking good. There's a dried up stream bed here. I should be able to walk along here. Wow. This is beautiful scenery. It made that walk all the worthwhile. Look at this. Fantastic. Look at my pants. They're covered in burrs. Wow. Guess I'll have some picking to do. <laughs> so the observatory is just up here. So I'm going to head up there and have a look. I made it to the top, here it is. It's a nice rock wall. You can sit down here under the canopy and you get a beautiful view. Beautiful view of Georgian Bay and the islands. Somewhere out there, there's people collecting trees. Yeah, it's fantastic to be out here in the middle of nowhere. So let's go up the pathway here. It climbs even higher. Oh, it's hard work getting through the, that field, climbing the hill here. Oh, here's a view from the picnic benches here. Wow. Can't ask for a better view than that. There's a cool breeze coming in off the, off the bay there. Oh, it feels great. I think I'm in heaven. So have you seen any trees? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> or are we, we just did, sightseers we today? We did find a, a beach. We okay. Yeah. Okay. Some, some, uh, Hard to see the trees for the forest. Oh yeah, okay. I found a new nice little root pot. Oh, look at that. That's yeah, cool. Nice. Yeah, that is neat. He, yeah. he, he found it actually. Well, yeah. something to take home and plant. Yeah. Cool. So my next destination is way down there. There's a mini Stonehenge set up. 
So I'm gonna go visit that. It'll be quite a walk. So here I go. It's very rare. Right now it's a beautiful warm day. There's absolutely no insects, no mosquitoes, nothing. Nothing bothering me at all. It's just a perfect day to walk in the woods, which is amazing. There's some amazing roots here at the edge of the stream bed, all covered in moss and going down into the ground here. Really cool. I'm on my way to Stonehenge and I came across a little garden out in the middle of the field here. Volunteer Liege Garden or something. So, a volunteer garden. Look at this. Amazing. Just beautiful. Look at all these tomatoes. Okay. I'm going to try a tomato. I'm sure they won't mind. I'll try one of these cherry tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm, very good. Okay, back over to Stonehenge. The walking's a little easier now. There's a nice mowed strip so I can go over there. I think there'll be a path over there. We'll check it out. On the way to Stonehenge, there's a, what is it called, an an anomatic sundial. So there's posts all around and they're numbered with Roman numerals. And I'm not sure how it works, but maybe you have to stand in a certain spot and tell the time by the way the shadow points. Oh yeah, so down here, here's the months. So we need to find September right here. I'll stand on September there. And my shadow's pointing to the one, which means it's about 10 after one. And it's probably right because this collection trip is going to wrap up at two o'clock, which is just over there. So I have about, I don't know, 40, 50 minutes. So here I am, I've arrived, and it says on these stones, it says Keppel, Keppel, and over here, Henge. So this is Keppel Henge. So let's go in and have a look. A-D-M-M, -M, it says on that little stone. These are certainly large stones in here. So I'm standing in the middle. There's a sign over here, I think. What does it say? Pointer stone, view the North Star stone. Oh, it says, when the North Star stone is aligned with the point on this stone, the North Star Polaris appears above the pointer it's something I can't read the rest, but yeah, so this is the pointer stone, which must point to the North Star. So each stone has a label on it, telling you what it does. Some of them are hard to read. Shadow, shadow falls here at sunrise on summer. Something, I can't read that, but yeah, I guess they all mean something. Amazing. Okay, we're gonna head out of this area. You can see that hill where I was just about, <laughs> I don't know how long ago, maybe half an hour ago, I was at the top of that hill over there. So down this path, we have the Analemma Project. So let's see, there's a post with a hole and let's see where the shadow lines up with. It's lining up here. 
So there it says equinox and those. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it, uh, what it signifies. Down here we have solstice. And this is a, an, an Alema project. Wow. Interesting. Let's go down this pathway now and have a look. See what's down this way. Going over a dry stream bed here. And into the garden area, there's a oak tree here. There's a row of oaks. There's a spooky looking branch from the apple tree here. This looks like an old apple tree. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that's nice, nice bark. Really old, looks really healthy too. Amazing. A nice top on this gazebo or entranceway, just made of wooden sticks lashed together or nailed. Makes a nice garden entrance. Here's a really beautiful apple tree. Kind of a large canopy on it. Hopefully someday the trees in our orchard will look like this. I don't know if I'll be alive to see it, but that's an apple tree that's been pruned well over the years. You see it has a tiered branch structure, nice flat branches, probably gets a lot of fruit on it. Yeah, really good apple tree there. It looks nice and healthy too, there's no big pruning marks or anything on it. It's been, take of, been taken care of from a very young age, you can see that kind of clip and grow branch structure. Really nice. Here's another really big apple tree. Just huge. So right now I'm partially underground. There's a set of oh, stairs a, coming down. It's an old variety of and greenhouse. there's a concrete wall and a bit of a greenhouse. And in here are all the edible figs. So you can see them growing in pots down here. And they hang out. And there's some of the ripe fruit here. Oh, it's soft. It looks really good. Look at that. Wow. And on the back wall, there's mirrors here just to reflect the light back. So I guess this is what you call a walpini. A little sort of in-ground greenhouse. Just amazing. And I'll show you what it looks like from up here. So it's just glass panels. Fancy roof peak there. And yeah, just sort of below the ground a bit. Really good. Must hold a lot of heat in winter. And this is the garden where he starts all his little trees and everything. Thank you. Into the studio.